All right, so somebody at Tesla might be getting fired over this, but we may have finally gotten a little teaser into the refresh Model 3 that is codenamed Project Highland. So we have some stuff to cover about it, so let's get started. All right, so this photo has gone absolutely viral of the supposed new updated refreshed Model 3. All we've heard is this Project Highland for, I'd say, about a year now. So, but as you can see, you know, and in, in the not very typical Tesla fashion, looks like somebody, like a like an employee, just uncovered it, took a photo, and covered it back up, and just kind of walked away. Because normally, you know, Tesla when they do refreshes, they at least like to at least do some sort of pomp and circumstance. But this is probably not the way they were expecting it. So as you can see, co compared to the previous Model 3, we do see a slightly, like a, maybe a more sportier type look uh, front bumper. Well, other than that, maybe other than uh, some new wheels, which we haven't really confirmed if those are gonna be available on the updated Project, uh, Project Highland Model 3. Uh, overall, we're just not, re not really sure what's happening with this. So with, uh, with the new Model 3, I'm gonna go over some things that I myself would like to see on the Oh, police car. Uh, some things that I would like to see on the new Model 3. So first thing, I would like to see 4680 battery cells in the Model 3. You know, the Model 3 has been using the 2170s since its inception back in, you know, late 2017, uh, early 2018. So I would like to see 4680s incorporated into the Model 3. Are we going to see that? Maybe, maybe not. I know Tesla's working hard on their 4680 production for the Cybertruck and for the Semi, but that's just something I like to see. They're more efficient than the current 2170s and they're more cost effective. So will we get that? Unsure. Next, I would like to see more range. So the current single motor rear wheel drive, uh, it's not called the standard range plus anymore. Tesla renamed it, but that one gets around 272 miles, which for a car that starts at 41,990, that's not bad. Of course, you know, people with that mental trigger, they want to see something with three. So I would like to see the new Model 3 at least with 300 miles of range. That would give people less ranging, range anxiety and just an overall just better comfort, better feeling of knowing that they're going to have more range. Uh, I know everyone, a lot of people say like, well, I want my Model 3 to have 400 plus miles. Well, I don't think Tesla's going to do that. Big reason for that is because if you offer a Model 3 for, you know, around 50, 45 grand-ish, with 400 miles, now we're dipping into like the Model S range territory because, you know, a standard base Model S gets around 407 miles of range. So really, if you offer a Model 3 with that type of range, you're going to start to see Model S sales dip even more. Uh, there is quite a bit of Model S inventory currently out there. The big thing for that, even with the price reduction, do that is, you know, just the interest rates. The interest rates are super high right now. So we're kind of starting to see that demand just kind of slowly decline because, you know, people can't afford a, a $90,000 plus automobile at the moment. So, but, but anything, even with the long range Model 3, which gets around a little bit over 350 for around the mid 50s, that's not a, that's not a bad deal. Of course, the Model 3 long range is still not even a bit available to purchase. My theory is, is that when this new Model 3 comes out, the first they're gonna offer it is in the long range version of this Project Highland Model 3. Right, something else that I would like to see is I would like to see Auto Shift finally be incorporated into you know our lower level Tesla lineup as in the three and the Y. So the S and the X has the Auto Shift feature. So basically there's no gear stocks at all on the S or the X. Cause you know, Tesla's a big mission. They're all about, you know, like, hey, what can we get rid of? Big example being the passenger lumbar. Uh, I have one of the, the, the Model Ys that actually has passenger lumbar, even though I don't use it. But yeah, Tesla got rid of passenger lumbar because, you know, Tesla, it, it, no, nobody really used it. Really, we can incorporate that into gear stocks and turn signals as well. I'm not saying people don't use gear stocks and turn signals. Like we're not BMW drivers. We definitely use the turn signal. But why not just take that same technology and just do it similar to the S and the X and just have it on the steering wheel and then just utilize auto shift and auto drive and auto reverse. Is it perfect? No, but that's just something that I would like to see. All right, biggest thing that I'd like to see is I wanna see a cheaper price. Uh, I wanna see the $35,000 Model 3 come back. 
Uh, so those are the good old times. But I know people are saying like, oh, Matt, even though like with the tax credit, you're still getting a, a Model 3 for 35000 which that's true. With a $42,000, uh, I guess it wouldn't be quite that. They just actually cut the tax credit in half. So you, with the 42000 minus 3750 for the current uh, real-wheel drive Model 3, you're just getting it for under thirty or under $40,000. So, but I would like to see you know, a $35,000 base rear-wheel drive Model 3 that still qualifies for the $7,500 tax credit. That'd be great, because now you're pushing into the sub-$30,000 range, you know, for an electric vehicle, because, you know, that's the big, uh, biggest reason that people say they don't want to buy electric vehicles is because they're too expensive, which, in, in partial case, that's true, but then again, it's, you know, Teslas are extremely affordable compared to, you know, like 10, 12 years ago when they were stupid expensive. So, and also the thing that we're going to see, I don't honestly don't, with this new updated Model 3, I don't see there being a cheaper price. In the typical Tesla fashion, what they do is they will typically lower the price just a little bit, you know, maybe a few thousand bucks, and then you'll see a refresh come out. And then they'll offer the refresh from anywhere from like three to five thousand dollars more. So if you're expecting to get, you know, a fully refreshed Model Three for the current prices, I I won't I wouldn't count on that. Uh, the big question is when is this new Model Three coming out? Well, really, we don't know. We'll start to see some signs, even though yes, we did see the leaked photo, which that's at least it shows that Tesla's working on something, but. I honestly don't expect us to see a new Model 3 until maybe in the first quarter of 2024. Main reason for that is if you see the Tesla inventory, Tesla currently has a quite a high amount of inventory of Model 3s available in the United States. So the big thing they want to do is clear out all of that inventory. Because even with the supposed leak right now, I'm sure there's people that are, you know, holding off a little bit until they can get, you know, this updated Model 3. And of course, you know, there's some people right now that already placed an order for a Model 3 in hopes, keeping their fingers crossed, that they're going to get this new Project Highland Model 3. All right, and the final thing, something that I would like to see is I want to see a sportier look out of the Model 3. So uh, just something that kind of differenti differentiates it from, you know, previous bottles, uh, body style Model 3s and the Model Y, because the 3 and the Y, you know, they're they share a good percentage of parts and they look very similar if you're not looking closely enough. But I want them to kind of fix the mistake that they made with the X and the X refresh on the Model 3. Because honestly, like unless you actually know what to look for, the old body style S and the X and the new body style S and X look pretty damn similar. So I would love to see like, you know, a, a much sportier look, which we are kind of seeing that with, you know, that kind of sportier refresh front hood and those new wheels. But other than that, like I would like to see something a little more sleeker uh, out of the Model 3. And especially too, if you were to buy a Model 3 Performance, that thing has a zero to 60 time of 3.1 seconds and something that's that quick for under 60 grand definitely deserves a much sportier look to it especially like when you see it going down the road like you know like oh that's the new model 3 like i don't want to have to kind of like you know lower my shades and have to look at the tiny little hints of that this is a new refresh i was like people just people want it to feel different and just know like people know that they have something new yep so i hope that that was helpful uh, i know i did that didn't really provide much like i said that's just the new kind of just the limited amount of knowledge that we have about the new Project Highland Model 3 and just some things that I would like to see in this new Model 3. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, haven't yet subscribed, smash that subscribe button down below for more future Tesla content. But I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. See ya!